Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Yale University, the New York Times, and the BBC all say that hurricanes are getting stronger due to global warming. Physics suggests that as the world warms, hurricanes and other tropical cyclones should get stronger because warmer water provides more of the energy that fuels these storms. And climate simulations have long showed an increase in stronger hurricanes as warming continues. Well, now that we've heard the theory, let's look at the actual data. About one-fourth of the 35 deadliest Atlantic hurricanes occurred around the time of the Revolutionary War. And three of the deadliest Atlantic hurricanes occurred during October of 1780. The deadliest Atlantic hurricane occurred in mid-October 1780 and killed at least 24,000 people. Let's go through the October 1780 hurricanes in order. On October 3, 1780, Savannah La Mar, Jamaica was completely destroyed. The hurricane then went on to ravage Cuba and the Bahamas before heading out to sea. Estimates placed the storm's death toll around 1,100. This was followed one week later by the deadliest Atlantic hurricane with winds over 200 miles per hour. The storm devastated Barbados, Martinique, and St. Lucia. Every single structure in Barbados was destroyed by this storm. The wind blew so strong that it stripped the bark off the trees. Meteorologists are of the opinion that this effect is produced on wind velocities of over 200 miles per hour. An earthquake was felt during the passage of the Great Hurricane. The noise was so deafening that people could not hear their own voices. British Admiral Rodney wrote the wind carried aloft 100 feet the heavy cannons of the ground fortifications. This storm killed 24,000 people, and a week later another hurricane hit which killed at least 2,000. October 1780 was the deadliest Atlantic hurricane month, and the year of 1780 was the deadliest Atlantic hurricane year. St. Lucia was devastated by the October hurricane and was the second major hurricane which hit them that year. On June 13, 1780, a hurricane struck St. Lucia, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic and killed many thousands of people. And during August 1780, a hurricane hit New Orleans with wind gusts between 160 and 180 miles per hour. It destroyed nearly every building in Grand Isle, Louisiana. The Atlantic hurricane season of 1780 was the deadliest on record, but the number of lives lost was nowhere close to what occurred in the Pacific. The July 1780 typhoon killed 100,000 people. It was the third deadliest Pacific typhoon. Eyewitness accounts said surely more than 100,000 persons died in the storm, and at dawn we fathomed the sea and measured 72 feet. Something was going on with the climate around the time of the Revolutionary War, which caused a huge number of deadly hurricanes and typhoons. And if we look at Michael Mann's hockey stick, those years were among the coldest on record. According to our leading climate academics, the worst hurricane years were among the coldest. And they also say hurricanes are getting stronger because the world is getting warmer. Climate simulations have long showed an increase in stronger hurricanes as warming continues. Never mind that the actual data shows the exact opposite of their theory. If Yale Climate consisted of actual scientists and the New York Times and BBC consisted of actual journalists, they would want to understand what's going on in the real world rather than in their climate simulations. But they're not interested in the truth. Rather, they are pushing an agenda. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on these scamsters for the past 13 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.